Welcome to my channel Beneath the Long Man's Feet and here I hope to share with you some songs and stories and poems that I've written over the years. <laughs> Don't worry, there'll be no songs, I am no singer, but hopefully you enjoy the poems and the stories that I'm going to share with you. And the channel is called Beneath the Long Man's Feet because that is where many of these poems and short stories got their very first outing. I belong to a local druid group, the Andera de Gorseth, and they meet on a hill just outside of Eastbourne beneath the chalk figure, the Long Man of Wilmington, hence Beneath the Long Man's Feet. And the very first one I want to share with you is appropriately enough called Beneath the Long Man's Feet. And it goes a bit like this. When I told my mum I was a druid, I think her bowels turned to fluid. You see, she had this unnatural fear for things that she was not clear. When I told my dad that I didn't believe in his God, he said, son, you always were a little odd. And he turned with good cheer and he went down the pub for a beer. When I tried to talk to my friends at work, I always ended up sounding like a burk. And when I tried to discuss it deeper with my mates, we ended up in these stupid debates. So I went to the library to find some books. And there the librarian sort of smiled but gave me funny looks. And of the books I did find to read, none really gave me what I need. Now at that time, doing things on my own just seemed strange. And getting a group together was hard to arrange. But then one day, a group on a hill I found, and I listened in awe to the Arwen sound. And now, right there, by the long man's feet, a like-minded group of people I can meet. And finally, heart to heart and hand in hand, in a circle of peace and love, I can readily stand. Well, there we go. Beneath the Long Man's Feet, the very first offering I shared at the Eisteddford with Andrew de Gorsef. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll be tuning in in coming weeks to listen to more of the short stories and poems I hope to publish. But for now, I'll bid you good day.